Hey guys, it's Concedo here with Trilogy Studios and today we have another Gunplay review and we are reviewing the FA-78 Full Armor Gundam, the high grade version. Alright guys, let's first take a look at the box art. This kit was made in 2016, not too long ago. And the art just looks phenomenal, that looks pretty awesome. It's like um, a comic piece, it has this, like, this white outline, this is kind of unique, I don't really see many Gunplay boxes with this. And it also works well with the Psycho Zaku that we have here. Now, the Psycho Zaku we don't have built, but we'll go ahead and do a review on this later. Now, as we take a look at the artwork, I'm just going to say, like, this is one of the coolest looking high grades that I own. Simply because it has those four shields. Um, you could definitely get out all these action poses, but as you can tell, it does come with a stand here. And it's going to need the stand to really do anything awesome. Now, this we're going to run you about um, $27 in the USA. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more but I think this is really, really worth it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kit itself. Actually, before we take a look at the kit, let's go ahead and just go over this book real quick. It's actually it's actually not that much for, you, you think this is this high grade is gonna become packing with so much on it, but um, it's just your simple book. We have a colored page here, and of course, some more action shots. Nothing too crazy. Um, The build itself, putting this guy together, wasn't too difficult. It took me about a couple hours to put this guy together. All right, and here we have the kit itself. Just so you can see off the bat, just how big it is and how much kit you're gonna be getting. So even though he's a little guy, he has so much presence. And this is him next to another little guy. Now me personally, I have always wanted the Master Grade version. And whenever it became available, I was like, nah. <laughs> Mainly because the price point was so high. I've heard that building that one can be kind of a headache. And then during Christmas, I received this as a gift. And I was like, heck, let's go ahead and put this guy together real quick. I wanna see how it is. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I could see how this would be a hit for some but a miss for others so out the box it does come with some color correcting stickers i didn't use hardly any of them other than the shields and the eyes but i do plan on paying this guy i think he's going to be quite the little challenge if we take a reference to the manual here we have some yellow right here and we also have some yellowing on the gun and there's some gray parts around here as well and other than that there's not too much that's far off from how it's supposed to look compared to what you get maybe behind the shields are gray but yeah overall if you want something that looks really just menacing this thing is it it has this cool backpack on the top um let's go ahead and just play around with it just so you can see what actually moves i know you're probably curious as i was to see because these arms with the shields you want how many positions can you really put them in what can you get out of it so let's go ahead and just start messing with the top here so you have this mechanism right here so this goes all the way to the back but you do have this gun in the way I believe you would have to essentially remove this gun first in order to bring it all the way back. It doesn't go, it doesn't go too far. And it does have like this little claw right here, this little pinch part, and it's held on to this little handle and there's a peg in there. That's the most you can do. You wanna take it kind of slow when moving this guy around because the arms themselves have no articulation. They're just, that's just a piece. There's nothing to this other than like that movement in here. So that's all you have to really work with, which isn't actually too bad. These top guns do the same thing. They kind of just kind of peer forward and peer back up. Same thing with the missile launcher. I kind of just have them both peering up because I think the shields are the main attractor of this kit. Arms, nothing too crazy. You do have to turn at the um, upper arm there and you have the elbow bend. Now, if you take a look at the joints here, the elbows and the knees, it has a special kind of texture. I believe in the Master Grade version, these were actually like almost like a cloth like that you put over them. This is a part that's a hit and miss for some people that I've seen. I think it's kind of different. Uh, I don't know if you can paint the cloth, but you could definitely paint these whatever you want it to. I'll paint like a flat gray. Um, when it comes to all his special like missile compartments, there are none. You know, there's nothing else that opens up in this kit, nothing else that's hidden, as you would find on the larger models. That's just is what it is. And he has a ton of boosters here. Now when it comes to the feet, the feet are kind of cool. It has like this, um, if you pose it up just a little bit, it kind of goes more. I don't know if you're, what kind of pose you would need him to do. Why, why would he be running? He, do ha he does have like this super armored foot. It has the boosters underneath it, but I would always pose him on top of this stand, of course. And I believe he's just more of a space faring robot rather than being on the ground. I guess this is just made for um, kicking Zaku's. And you have this bazooka here. This really just attaches to the back of the arm from via a peg in here, as well as a peg on the other side. Oops. And just like so, it attaches. Get in there. All right. But honestly, guys, not too much else to really be said about the articulation. You really have some bend in the waist. This can possibly go all the way around. 
I don't see why you would need to go all the way around in his head and kind of do some basic functions because it's just on a ball peg. It, it can go back a little bit to kind of look up if you wanted that. That's as far as, far as it goes, looks up, but not really too much on the look down. That look down isn't too terrible. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else too crazy about this kit. So overall, what can else can I really say about this guy other than that it looks just awesome for a high grade. It has a lot going on for it and it even has some clear spaces to add your own um, details if you wanted to. But honestly, for me, I think this actually kit comes with enough. I'm not sure how much I would add to it. I might add something to the the booster. I guess these are like um, fuel rods in the back. These are kind of just plain. They look just, they're just straight. There's nothing really to them. I think this is the most boring part of the kit here. And we also have um, some beam saver storages. It does come with the beam saver, but heck, you have all these shields and all these guns and your beam savers are stored on your backpack. I think you would jettison the backpack before you, I don't know, but hey, they are there. And I'm not really sure what these things are inside of here so if you guys know go ahead and put it in the description down below they could be i guess extra ammunition pods or things like that so if you're looking for a full armor gundam but you think you're going to get the ones just like the master grade well this ain't it however it looks the part and on your shelf and in your instagram post this guy's gonna look incredible now all that aside let's go ahead and give this guy a rating now i have my rating system starts with garbage being don't buy it good being below average Great is average, glorious being above average that you, you must buy. And of course, God tier is just the absolute best. I will go ahead and give this, me personally, a glorious because you can get so many poses off of this kit. I thought it was going to be more of a statue than what it is. It's nothing too crazy. There's no like hidden mechanics in the knees or anything like that. It doesn't even need to bend all too much. Like some people may complain that like the knees don't go too high, but it goes high enough. If you look at that Ben right there, if you wanted to pose him like that, he looks pretty good. And he just looks the part with all those shields there. It just looks absolutely menacing. And if you're a high grade collector, this absolutely has to be a part of your high grade collection. Now for the non-painters, again, I just slapped on the stickers. And if you throw some paneling on this guy, you didn't even need you don't even need the color correct anything else. I think it will look just awesome. Um, even with the dark colors, you, you will get some kind of nub blemishes. But um, as you can see here, I just did like single cuts on most. I didn't grind down anything and you don't even notice them all too badly. Like you grab yourself a glass file and a buffer pen. You'll probably be able to handle those a little bit better than I did. And just the fact that it has four shields, that's freaking awesome. And it has so much more too. It has like the gun cannon. It just looks awesome compared to your normal standard um, high grade. It's just going to be standing there just kind of like maybe with this gun, maybe with this beam saber or shield this thing comes fully loaded. Now, I will say some people may be raising their eyebrows because again, the price is around $27 and you can possibly pick yourself up a real grade. But for as much as you're getting with this kit, and besides, you're probably just gonna stand that real grade on your shelf alongside this one. I believe this still kind of holds its own because of just the sheer amount of things you get with it. <laughs> it's like New Gundam's elder brother that if he got beat up, he called this guy and was all like, yo, I need, I got a bully. Could you take care of him for me? He's called Psycho Zaku. Um, I need you to handle that guy. Anyways, I think this is glorious. And if you think otherwise, go ahead and throw, show, tell me why in the comments down below. Do you have this guy? All right, guys, and that's it for the review. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, there's a button for that as well. Make sure you subscribe to check out more in the future. Um, before you leave, go ahead and check our links in the description down below. So you can check us out on our website at TrilogyStudios.com as well as our social medias like Instagram where you get our post, post and work in progress shots. I know life can be a struggle out there sometimes, but keep pushing on, keep moving forward, and most importantly, let nothing stop you. Peace out, guys.